Hello there. So the question today is basically a, a nice, interesting one, one which affects us all. We're asking ourselves, should we use plastic bags? Simple as that. OK, how can we avoid using plastic is probably the wider question. OK, but using plastic bags definitely affects us. So let's start with this statement. Do you agree with this? Well, an average Japanese uses around as much as 450 plastic shopping bags each year, more than one each day and 11 times higher than, for example, Indonesia and 17 times higher than the UK. What do you think about that? Well, where do you get your plastic bags from? Let's think about that. Where's the source? So we obviously get them from supermarkets, from DIY stores, takeout restaurants, clothes and accessory shops, and there's probably other places as well. But my point being is that we can get them almost anywhere. Now, if we think about um, the possible um, advantages of using plastic bags, okay? Plastic bag production is more environmentally friendly. I'll say that again, is more environmentally friendly. Why do we say that? Well, according to a study by the Minister of Environment and Food in Denmark in 2018, they said that manufacturing disposal plastic bags had a lower environmental impact than six alternative bags offered as a replacement at most supermarkets. So it means that alternative material would have to be reused between 35 and 7,100 times to equal that of plastic bags that are only used once. We also need to think about the environmental footprint comparison, alternative bags and plastic bags. Well, if we look here, you can see this in more detail. So if you look at the six alternatives, you can see that conventional cotton uses 7,100 times uses to try to get um, uh, the same as a plastic bag. But obviously if you use uh, the polyester polythene terephthalate, if I'm pronouncing it right, it's used only 35 times. But you can see there's the differences. Another issue is that the plastic industry employs nearly a million Americans. So in Japan, it also has a large um, um, rate of employment, okay? Companies that manufacture bags employ thousands of people in plants and, um, and uh, factories. So new uh, pl plastic ban raises possible widespread layoffs, so greater unemployment, which will also include Japan. So we need to think about that. Also, um, we want to avoid a loss in the sales. Now, some stores um, say that anti-plastic bag um, had led to a notable decrease in sales as shoppers feel limited in uh, purchasing or what fits into a, a reasonable size bag or choose to shop at a neighborhood town because they still use plastic bags. So as a result, stores are unable to hire more people. And so you can see that we need to have a, a, a lot clearer plan. And then plastic bags, reduced food safety risk. What do I mean by that? Well, fabric bags are great for transporting dry foods, but can be quick to absorb messes and lead to undesirable odors and potential bacteria growth. So an example from a, a joint study by the University of Arizona and Loma Linda University in California, they noticed that there was a presence of uh, coli form bacteria in 51% of the 84 reusable grocery bags tested. So there is a concern about safety risk. Plastic bags and wrapping overall have become widely accepted. It's approved as a standard hygienic packaging material. So if you want um, hygienic as healthy food, maybe plastic packaging is what we need to consider. However, and there is the however. On the other side, let's think about food plastic contaminates food sources. So one of the most effective ways to reduce the volume of plastic waste in the ocean is this way. Uh, we would have a major health benefits for both sea life and humans if we um, ban the plastic bags. So for example, sea life consumes up to 24,000 tons of microscopic plastic per year. A study in 2015 by the UC Davies researchers found that one quarter of fish, for example, in California markets contained um, fibrous plastic in their stomachs. 
So that is a concern. Plastic bags take up to a thousand years to decompose. Over a thousand years. Unlike reusable fabrics, uh, fabrics and bags, plastic bags take a lifetime to biodegrade, to decompose, to break down. Over time, their lightweight allows them to be carried along distances, carrying environmental havoc along the way, creating huge problems. Plastic bags are hard to recycle as well. Um, we keep producing more and more of them, but um, we do not think about efficient recycling programs because basically they are difficult to recycle. According to the, uh, the EPA in America, nearly 93 billion plastic bags are not recycled each year. So the US recycled less than 9% of plastic bags in 2018. So when we think about it, um, there are over 100 billion plastic bags made uh, by Americans. And this means that, no, well, basically 92.8 billion plastic bags are not recycled. So there is a concern. Plastic bags cannot be sorted from other materials by the machines at recycling facilities either. They just basically get stuck in conveyor belts and jam the equipment. Some grocery stores do provide collection bins instead to resolve this problem, but this is not probably that popular. Furthermore, we have other considerations as well. What do I mean by that? Well, obviously, who is behind the opposition to plastic bag bans, okay? Clearly plastic bag manufacturers want to stay in business and stop efforts that would force them to change their business practices um, to one that fits a more sustainable ideology, or if they don't, they'll go out of business. So it's in their interest to try to oppose these plastic bag bans. Now, Asia's biggest packaging waste producer is, surprise, surprise, um, in Japan. When we think about it, nearly everything in the supermarket is wrapped in plastic packaging and inside a typical box of biscuits. And each biscuit is again wrapped in another plastic layer. So you can see there's an overuse of um, packaging. Okay, so is banning plastic bags enough? Well, Japan ranks now second in the plastic waste emissions in the globe. In other words, it produces per capita, per person, the second most, uh, just behind the US, in fact. Chinese, China, for example, produces four kilograms less plastic packaging per waste than Japan, despite being 11 times the size of, the, of this population. Now, if we look at plastic bottles, Japanese, for example, produce and um, purchase up to 23 or well, over 23 billion plastic bottles nationwide. So that's about 183 bottles per person each year. So if we look at the in, this data here on the left hand side, you can see um, how plastic bottles are collected and recycled. And if you look on the left, you can see Japan is much higher, um, but in the collection rate, which means it's good. But if you also look at the consumption, the bottom left, you can see that Japan consumes a lot more um, oh, drinks via plastic bottles. Also, if we think about the packaging, the amount used there on the right hand side, you can see China um, obviously um, uh, wastes a lot of plastic packaging, but it's a much larger country. And if you look below that, you can see that Japan is second only to America in the actual uh, uh, plastic waste um, of packaging per capita per annum. So Japan is 32.4 kilograms per person. So that's the second highest. Other global issues. Well, it is estimated that out of 400 million tons of global plastic produced each year, a large majority from oil and gas up to 23 million tons enter the aquatic ecosystems, and only 12% have been incinerated and less than 10% recycled. So it is very much concerning. If the problem doesn't stop, flow of plastic waste into the aquatic systems are expected to nearly triple to 11 million tons in 2016 to a whopping 29 million tons by 2040. And if this continues by 2050, Greenhouse gas emissions associated with plastic product uh, use and disposal will take up 15% of allowed carbon emissions and over 800 marine species will be affected in a negative way as a result. But if we think 
now to Japan's plastic waste management system. Well, Japan also ranks second highest in the plastic management index out of 25 countries in the world because it does have a very solid waste management system. Um, and that's very important to note. Um, so for example, Japan managed to, manages to um, uh, collect a rate of 92% of its plastic bottles and about half from local governments and half from, from businesses. And out of the collected bottles, 86% end up being recycled. So that is a positive um, consideration. Nation's goals in Japan. Well, uh, it also sets a goal to first turn all existing plastic packaging and goods to be either reusable or recyclable in 2025 claimed by the government. By 2030, it aims to reduce or recycle 6% of all plastic containers and packaging and reduce to single-use plastic emissions by a quarter and start introducing less polluting bioplastics. And in 2035, officials want to reuse or recycle all plastic waste in Japan. So that's not so long when you think about it. Banning plastic bags? Well, in fact, Kyoto's uh, Kamioka city has become the first city to ban retail, uh, these plastic bags in retail stores. So it can happen. There's also biomass plastics. Now, what is that? Well, it's a term uh, which refers to um, plastics made from inedible parts of food, such as corn and sugarcane. And since it's a renewable resource, it is environmental friendly material compared to, for example, petroleum, which is depleting resources. So what do we mean by this? Well, it's environmentally friendly, this biomass plastic, because it, well, it does emit carbon dioxide when it's burned, but according to resources, um, the plants that um, burn the, uh, um, the carbon dioxide actually um, absorb it uh, in their growth process and photosynthesizing as well. Since new plants absorb the carbon dioxide emitted, um, then or recycle it, it can be effectively used as a resource to reproduce and circulate all, though it leads to this idea of a carbon neutral concept, which recycled. If you look at this diagram, pause it for a while and have a look around, but you can see in these steps that materials are recycled, chemicals are recycled, um, incineration is recycled for, through thermal energy, and then uh, plants are also grown to absorb the um, additional carbon dioxide. So there is um, a series of measures designed. The effectiveness of it all, I am not sure, I cannot say. But let's just go through the benefits of plastic bag bans again. So the pros, well, plastic uh, bag bans enhance the economy. Bans on plastic bags cause an up, uh, uptick in business for reusable bag manufacturers and lead to increased employment opportunities. Eliminating plastic bags reduce cost of goods. Stores have to factor in the cost of disposable bags into their prices. By eliminating plastic bags, stores can lower prices, help shoppers save between 18 to $30 annually. Plastic bags are not biodegradable. When plastic bags become litter, they pollute oceans, rivers, farmlands, cities, and neighborhoods. Bans eliminate bags, which equals less litter and less pollution. Picking up litter costs tax money as well. Banning plastic bags will reduce litter and allow for tax money to be redirected to more important areas. Marine life will improve as well. Marine animals often mistake plastic bags as jellyfish or plankton, leading them to consume the litter, become ill or even die. Drainage infrastructures run more efficiently as well. Plastic litter often clogs drainage systems, causing unnecessary flooding. Plastic bag bans reduce the need to uh, use petroleum and banning plastic bags will minimize the dependency on the limited non-renewable resource of oil and it decreases the mosquito population believe it or not disregard plastic bags collect rainwater and create a breeding ground for mosquitoes which could carry um, uh, the west nile virus for example or the triple e virus so these are mm, the benefits okay now what are the cons of using plastic bags well Oh, plastic bags uh, manufacturers um, scale back. Bans often lead plastic bag manufacturers to scale back business, which may lead to layoffs. So that's why we, we shouldn't ban the plastic bag. Another one is the upfront cost to shoppers. Plastic bag, 
band will require shoppers having to purchase reusable bags, which can range from a dollar and upwards. So there's an additional cost that way. Anyway, in your groups, have a decision. Okay, two sides. One side goes for pros, the other side goes to cons, and um, write down your ideas. Thank you very much.